Hey everybody, it's me, your buddy Dave, the host here at the Dark Stuff channel, darkstuff.com. You know the drill. Look, it's Record Store Day 2024, and uh, I don't ordinarily do a haul video, but I mean, I had a pretty good Record Store Day this year. Best one in a couple of years, if I'm just being honest. Okay, so I'm back from Record Store Day, and if you know anything about me, I don't wait up overnight. I don't go, like, right at the at the crack of dawn or whatever. My, my MO is I usually like to show up at noon, 1 o'clock, and I figure if I miss something, I miss something. But chances are most of the stuff that I want is probably still going to be there, and I scored in this case. However, trying to avoid lines, no effing way. I went to two different stores. I went to Homer's. And I went to Vinyl Cup, both here in Omaha. As far as Homer's goes, when I arrived at 12.30, the line was still all the way out the store and halfway down the block. I was moving pretty briskly, but it was still pretty overwhelming. Um, over at Vinyl Cup, they had a smaller line. It's a smaller store, and so they were letting like two people in at a time when two people would come out. So uh, they had their own sort of line situation. The third store I was going to go to, Recycled Sounds, uh, I didn't actually end up going to, but I did hear anecdotally that there were huge lines over there as well. So what did I actually get? Well, first and foremost is the replacements. Okay, live at the Cabaret Metro 1986. This was the main thing I went out to get. And just do note, I will be doing a separate review video just for this. So here it is, live in 1986, The Replacements. This is the same show that does appear on CD in the uh, Tim uh, Let It Bleed box set. So you are, it is something that has been out before, but never on vinyl. I mean, the LPs themselves are black. It's a double LP set. And uh, the other major bonus, of course, when you buy any replacements reissue is that the liner notes here are from Bob Mayer, who's the uh, official replacements biographer, the author of Trouble Boys. Uh, the next thing that I was uh, that was on my list, I only had two initially when I went, was this one from The Screaming Trees. Okay. And this is a collection called Weird Things Happening. It is a series of cassette demos from the band from 1986 to 1988. It features mostly just uh, Lee Connor and uh, Mark Lanigan, and then there are other tracks. Now, I haven't listened to this yet, um, but this was on my list. I'm also in the midst of reading Mark Lanigan's autobiography because he's the next subject of my rock and roll book club, and so it was just natural I had to get this one too. Okay, now this next thing, I honestly, I didn't even know it was out, and I had no intention of buying it until the night before Record Store Day, Friday night, I saw a video of, from a KISS fan in Europe who, you know, their time is ahead, so they already had Record Store Day, and they showed this Eric Carr box set, Unfinished Business. Holy shit. Okay, look at this thing. Okay, not only that, I didn't take time to charge it. There's a USB-C port on the side, so you can charge it up, and then these... Eric Carr's eyes change colors, like they light up like the Creatures of the Night album. Fucking cool. Now, I, I bought the Eric Carr Rockology box set last time on Record Store Day, and I really buy it, the Eric Carr stuff, mostly for sentimental reasons. I mean, I loved him as a member of KISS, but I'm not, you know, really that into his music outside of KISS. These are mostly just demos and whatnot. So there's the little hype sticker on the Eric Carr. It does say five never before released bonus demo tracks, new comic book style 12 inch by 24 inch poster, printed inner sleeves with rare photos and liner notes. Now, again, all that is cool, but like, look at this fucking box. Okay, so then you can charge it up. Shit. I'm realizing now you can't see anything with this ring light here, but. This is a beautiful box. It is completely, it's super well put together. And I have to say the deciding factor for me was gonna be cost. And here's the vinyl. And this was only $44. Two LPs shoved in here. And then you got the poster. And of course the lit up uh, box. That, that is the main thing. But, um, wow. What a nice package and if you charge it up, then again, the, the eyes change colors. I 
It was a little eager to get to the video, so I didn't actually take the 50 minutes to charge it up. Okay, next up is the Pixies Live at Red Rocks 2005. Double LP. Oh, no gatefold. Sorry, that was dumb. You got the two sleeves with the Pixies sign on them. The vinyl itself. Oh, this is cool. So it's got an orange and red type of splatter. Pretty sure the other one's the same. It is. And I saw this and I was like, I was almost going to pass. But it was with the with the OG lineup with Kim Deal on it still. And so I just was like, a kind of an impulse buy. Okay, and then the last thing I got is uh, from Dean and Britta. Okay, an album called La Aventura. This was their first album together outside of Luna. Of course, Dean Wareham from Luna from Galaxy 500. Britta from... Luna and another band too. I just I'm drawing a blank on it, but mainly it's Dean Wareham is why I'm interested. But this is a reissue of their very first album, which was produced by Tony Visconti, best known for working with guys like David Bowie. And it also puts an EP and some extra stuff on the uh, bonus vinyl on the extra record. It's very nice packaging with really high quality. Anti-static sleeves. There's the uh, the Luna or the Dean and Britta record. So all things considered, I think this was a pretty great record store day. There were a few things I liked and I had in my hands for a minute. I had the Dream Syndicate demos thing, and then I ultimately put that back. I may go back for that later. I'm not sure. Uh, there was a Thin Lizzy live in 1976 that I kind of was looking at. I thought maybe looked pretty cool couple other things but for the most part I got the two things I mainly went to get which was the replacements and screaming trees and then that Eric Carr thing just looked so cool that I had to get it that's all that's my record store day haul I'm gonna be doing a full replacements video uh, in the next day or two thanks bye so uh, you have a myspace page or something